My name is Sarah Shaw, and I am the service manager at one of the largest Kenworth dealerships in the world. Kenworth Sales Company has been in business for over 75 years. We have 31 locations in 10 states. I'm the first female service manager in our company's history. I directly lead 50 very qualified male technicians, foremen, and support staff. When I graduated from college, I never dreamed I would make a career in this industry. But life throws curveballs, and I never would have guessed that I would land in such an exciting, challenging, and fulfilling industry. I started out more than 15 years ago as a warranty clerk at our Price Utah location. Four years later, I was selling parts at our Rock Springs, Wyoming location. And shortly after that, I got the opportunity to be a part of opening a new location in Vernal, Utah. During the five years I was in Vernal, I also had the unique opportunity to visit each one of our service locations while facilitating a software implementation. After that, I was hooked. I love the team members I get to work alongside every day. I love the interaction with our customers. I love the challenging work and the endless opportunities to be the solutions to our customers' problems. In 2016, I was able to transfer to our corporate headquarters in Salt Lake City, Utah to lead our service office. With that move, I set my sights on becoming a service manager and worked hard to acquire the confidence and respect of my team members. I applied for the position despite the fact that I was not the cookie cutter service manager that the industry is used to. I came up through the ranks but never held the title technician. In spite of this, I was supported and encouraged by many of my male counterparts, executives, and HR personnel. When I was offered and accepted the job, I anxiously awaited the collective gasp when it was announced, but it never came. I was enlightened to discover that sometimes we put ourselves in boxes and set limits on ourselves because of our gender in this industry, more than our male counterparts do. I also discovered that being a leader in this industry isn't all about nuts and bolts. It's about people, building bridges of understanding and being willing to work hard. As with every other service facility in the industry, we felt the crunch of the nationwide technician shortage. It was very evident that we would need to grow our own technicians. We kindled relationships with instructors at technical colleges across our AOR, and I found a new passion, recruiting, training, and developing young technicians. Every day, I get to coach and mentor some of the best diesel technicians in this industry. Watching a young person that I met at a junior high recruiting fair successfully navigate job shadowing, technical school, our internship, apprenticeship, and become a journeyman is one of the foremost ways I measure my success as a leader. My advice to women in the male-dominated diesel industry? Break down the barriers in the industry and in yourself. Be willing to do the hard work. Keep your focus, but be willing to accept change and teach diversity by your example.